Hi everyone, it's Marissa from bumblebeeapothecary.com and today I'd like to show you how to make healthy homemade ketchup. Making ketchup yourself at home is such a great idea because you can be in control of all the ingredients to make it taste the way that you want and to make it a healthier option than a lot of store-bought options. Also, if you're following the GAPS diet, this recipe is approved for the GAPS diet as long as you're doing well with tomatoes and all the other ingredients. So let's jump in and get started. So you're going to start off with some tomato paste. If you can find the organic tomato paste in glass jars, that's ideal. I have about 12 to 14 ounces total, and it's by weight in those containers, so I'm just going with what it says on those containers. So about two of those will make this amount of ketchup for this recipe. Next, I'm going to add a third of a cup of a probiotic liquid. So this can be a brine from fermented vegetables that you've made, or it can be whey from homemade yogurt or kefir that you've dripped out. I'm going to add a third of a cup And what this does is turn this ketchup not only to a, into a tasty condiment, but also a digestion enhancing fermented food. So I'll just blend that in a little bit. Next I'm going to add an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. My measuring spoons that I have here don't go quite that small, so I'm just going to kind of try to estimate that but if you have that small measuring spoons then you can measure it and then an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice so this next seasoning is a little bit optional depending on how spicy you like things and how well you're doing the spicy foods if you're on gaps i like to add just a little dash of cayenne powder next i'm going to add half a teaspoon of salt I'm using my Baja Gold salt, which is one of my favorite mineral salts. Next, I'm going to add two tablespoons of raw apple cider vinegar. And then somewhere around three tablespoons of honey. And you can adjust this depending on what you like as far as how sweet the ketchup is. You can even leave the honey out altogether, but it is kind of fun to add it just to get that classic ketchup flavor. And if you've been on my channel before, you'll know that I don't really like measuring honey. It's just such a mess and I feel like you always waste some, so I always eyeball honey. And then we just whisk this all together. I like using a fork, but a small whisk will work well. Just mix everything together really well so it's combined and blended thoroughly. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put it into a glass jar to store. And then the next step to really boost the fermented probiotic benefits in this ketchup is to Put a lid on and then leave it at room temperature on your counter for two days and then after that you'll want to store it in the refrigerator. You can use it right away but those probiotic benefits will increase with that time when it's sitting on the counter. And there you have it. That's how easy it is to make your own healthy lacto-fermented ketchup. I hope that you enjoy this recipe and I hope that you like seeing how to make it. Check out that description box for links to where I like to buy a lot of the ingredients that I see used for this recipe. Also check out that description box for links to free ebooks and other goodies. There's a GAPS diet getting started guide and also a link to my free class on starting the GAPS diet with more confidence and less confusion. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with anybody else who you think would like it. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I get out two new videos every week on nourishing recipes and natural living. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.